all right welcome back to my channel guys today i have istdq6 nano it's a lipo rc lipo battery charger so uh let's figure it out i'll do the unboxing and a little bit of testing all right we get this instruction manual right here a screen protector all right and the charger itself is quite compact it's very small as you can see All right there's a screen protector i think it's just a film or something uh, oops i don't know how to remove it Right, here's the charger. Uh, you can plug in uh, its XT60 connector. You can plug in any battery battery here, and you can get an output from this side. Uh, I think you can connect up to 6S. Yeah, it says right here. You can connect up to 6S, uh, 2S to 6S. All right. Okay, there's also a, a micro USB, so you can connect it to your computer. To update the firmware on it so let me uh, make a power supply for this so we can charge uh, different batteries out of it uh, I don't have any bigger capacity battery so I need a bench so so basically it can also act like a bench power supply all right here is the charger which I made I used laptop brick and did some wiring to it so just connect the positive lead to the positive of uh, this xt60 connector uh, actually i don't use this connector a lot in my rc cars because uh, i'm only using 3s the max so this one is the 3s battery right here so i connected uh, basically a conversion from xt60 to dean's plug so let's plug everything in plug the balance leads you can see right here uh, the voltage of the battery cells individual cells is 3.790.790.79 .790 .790 uh, it's a brand new battery so yeah so i'm gonna charge it at, at 0 0.8 amperes because it's 850 mEh let's start it so here you go here you can see the, the little bar here it tells the amount the battery is charged so all right we got this little feature right here it's the internal resistance of each cell it's a brand new battery so it's it's you know it's same like it's 5 5 and 3.7 milli ohms if it's higher that means if the difference is higher that means the battery is old and need replacement here's the temperature and everything yeah overall it's a nice little charger for your rc cars uh, it can handle up to 8 amperes but i'm only using uh it's 19 volt and 3.5 5 ampere charger so you can basically uh, get a bigger charger for bigger batteries so make sure it's under the voltage limit it's it's 10 volt to 30 so that's it about this charger